So here I've got um, my new feature classes added in here. Um, I'm going to zoom in here and uh, come into my map here. And we'll zoom into the Morton area. And we'll just zoom in on the, on the intersection here so we get a place we can maybe add some of our pipes and, and structures to. Um, so I want to, uh, in this case, I'll go ahead and turn on my imagery. Up here, I'm going to go under my map men menu, and I'm going to turn on my imagery for this particular example. And now, let's say I just want to get started, and I'm going to create some features. Uh, we, the, what we're used to in ArcMap, we're used to starting and stopping the editor anytime we want to make some edits and updates. One of the nice things with Pro is it's a little bit easier to do the editing. I simply go to the Edit tab create and then over here on the right we're used to the feature template section here. I'm going to click on SW structures and I'm going to add a couple structures here. I can see some inlets underneath there. I'm going to check my green checkbox to finish down below and now I have two new features added in there. So very easy to create those. Now let's say I want to update my symbology. So I'm going to click over here very similar to look and feel with ArcMap. Uh, you're familiar with the Symbology Gallery. If you're an ArcMap user, we can change the properties and the colors here. So I can kind of pick and choose what I'd like there. And it gives you some of those settings. I can also import Symbology. If I go back one space there, I can import Symbology from another layer, which is kind of nice. Um, so that's kind of how you would uh, update your Symbology. So now I want to view, um, let's say I want to view my attributes on these. So I have my attribute window and I'm going to select one of my structures here. Okay, and you can see over here on my attributes, I really don't have a lot of attributes. So at this point, I would really like to add more fields. So what I could do is I got a couple options here to add fields in ArcGIS Pro. One of the ways I can do it is going up here to the data tab. I can go to fields and you can see here I got fields, subtypes, domains. That's one option is I could open it up there and it's going to open up those fields in another in a view there. Or um, if you're kind of used to uh, the way ArcMap operates, you can open up the attribute table. And now here's where I can see, you know what, I really want to add another field to my data here. So I'm going to click on um, yeah, let's see, you know what? I think I gotta stop my editor. I gotta save my edits before it's gonna allow me to add a field. So you saw me just go to edit and then I saved edits. Uh, and then I'm gonna add a field here. So in this case, and a lot of times, sometimes it, it'll default up there. I can drag these windows wherever I want. So I'm gonna drag this one down so I can still see my map. And now I'm ready to add fields. So for my structures, I wanna add a field um, here and let's just call it uh, type, okay? And then I can select, you know, which one I want there. I'm just gonna do a text for now. Um, we'll go ahead and save that. And, and anytime I make a change to my fields, uh, if I add a field, I need to save that. And that's what it's doing here, okay? Uh, let's say, let's open up our pipes. Again, I'm in the attribute table for my pipes. And let's say I wanna add a field to my pipes called uh, let's add material. So I'm going to add material to my pipes. And in this case, I want to create a, a drop down for my material. So I'm going to say text. And over here, now this is where it's kind of unique. I can actually add a, a domain to that field called material. I can add that right here. So I'm going to do a new domain. My domain name is going to be material type and type of pipe material. Okay, and then I can tab over and we're gonna start here in our code section and we'll say RCP and then PVC, similar to if I was making a domain in, in uh, ArcMap. We'll do PVC and we'll do CMP just so we get some options there and lastly we'll do other, okay. So now I can go ahead and it's, it's um, I see it's adding an extra line here for me. So actually I added those in the wrong. Here's what's cool. I think I can uh, copy and paste these maybe in the other one. 
see if it'll let me do that. Nope, not in this case it won't. So we'll delete our first line for that domain since I accidentally created a new one. So we'll call this uh, we'll call this one our material type. Okay, and then since I created a new domain, now I have to save that domain up here. But the nice thing is you can do it on the fly there. So I went ahead and I added a field called material and I saved that, I added a new domain for that field. Um, so now if I go back to my, uh, to my data, now I have the material field. And if we go ahead and create a new pipe, create a pipe here, we'll just connect these two structures with the pipe. And if I look at my attributes, I now have the material option. So I can select RCP and I can say apply.